Filings was an American department store chain that opened in 1881 and was rebranded in 2006. Thank you for your suggestion. Now I can take some personal time at Filene's and save while I spend on my wardrobe. It's the men's only wardrobe sale, now through Thursday, March 14th only. I can get a suit, a sport coat, a blazer, slacks, even a raincoat. And the more I buy, the more I save. I spend 200, I lop off 20%, 300, 25%, 400 and more, 30%. And there's an extra savings bonus too. Two 20% off coupons, one for men's shoes, one for men's dress shirts. So I'm taking some personal time at Filene's and saving a bundle in the men's In 1881, William Filene founded William Filene's Sons Company, a department store in Boston, Massachusetts. William Filene, who was born in Prussia, had immigrated to the United States after the German Revolution of 1848 and became an owner of two stores in Lynn, Massachusetts. In 1890, William Filene leased a five-story and basement building on Washington Street and began to expand his business the store was devoted to women's ready-to-wear clothes and accessories. In 1890, Mr. Filene retired and turned over the store's operations to his two sons, Edward and Lincoln. The store was renamed William Filene's Son Company, the world's largest specialty store. The two men instituted a minimum wage scale for female employees, paid winter vacations, employee discounts, health clinics, insurance programs, and credit unions. In 1909, Filene's Basement was opened and also known as the Bargain Basement, where prices were marked down 25% every six days, and after 30 days, the goods were donated to charities. The store also had a money-back guarantee if not satisfied. In 1912, Filene's held a grand opening of the flagship store in what is now called Downtown Crossing on the corner of Washington and Summer Streets. By 1929, Filene's expanded the main building, converting the block around Washington, Summer, Holly, and Franklin Streets into one department store. Also during 1929, Filene's joined Abraham and Strauss and Lazarus as the founding members of Federated Department Store. In 1935, the entire downtown Boston Filene store was air conditioned, the first in New England. More branches were opened in various locations around Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Around 1951, the first automatic elevators were installed in the new building which was built on Holly Street in Boston. From the 1930s through the 1990s, Filene's continued expanding beyond New England with the country growing and adapting to new shopping malls. In 1972, six of the old buildings on the Filings block on Washington Street and Franklin Street were demolished and replaced by a single modern building and had two basement selling floors. Filene's main rival company during this period was Jordan Marsh, which, whose main store, like Filene's, was located in Downtown Crossing in Boston and was also making the transition, expanding into shopping malls. Around 1986, department stores around the country began to have financial problems. In 1988, Canadian real estate developer Robert Campau acquired Federated Department Stores, Filene's parent company, to appease antitrust regulators. He sold Filene's to the May Department Store. Also included in the deal was Foley's of Houston. It was then that the Filene's and the Filene's basement trade names were disassociated. 
In 1992, Filings absorbed G. Fox and Company of Hartford, Connecticut, and Steigers in 1994, two other divisions of May Company. During the 1990s, there was a doubling of Filings organization as May invested in new stores and variegated Filings price and product assortments. In 2002, Filings assumed operational control of the Kaufman stores in Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Western New York State. Federated announced its planned acquisition of May in February of 2005. The likelihood that the May nameplates would be replaced by the Federated-owned Macy's was acknowledged, citing the considerable success in rebranding Federated regional stores as Macy's. Federated felt that operating regional stores, primarily one brand, means they could advertise nationally, unlike regional retailers, which is more cost-effective. The changes were unlikely to occur before 2006. The company-wide conversion to Macy's was confirmed in July, and the merger was completed in August. Federated continued to divest duplicate properties in shopping malls where Filings and Macy's were both present. Prior to consolidation, Filings operated 47 locations across Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, Rhode Island, and Vermont. The last remaining Filings stores closed on September 9, 2006 with the conversion of the May owned nameplates, Macy's had become a national retailer with over 800 stores. When Filings closed, the Boston Landmarks Commission voted unanimously to protect the two oldest buildings that house Filings, the main 1912 store and the 1905 former Glassware and China Cellars building on the opposite corner. Two newer buildings, built in 1951 and 1973, were demolished in 2008. The company left a notable legacy when the company ceased to be Filene's. They had been pioneers in the respective industry, having instituted a minimum wage scale for female employees, paid winter vacations, employee discounts, health clinics, insurance programs, and were instrumental in creating credit unions that are a commonplace today. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.